Welcome to Bite Sized. My name is Vaidehi Joshi, and I want to tell you about someone named Edgar Dijkstra and his very famous algorithm. So Edgar Dijkstra was a computer scientist who came up with some of the most interesting solutions to some of the most difficult computer science problems. One day, back in 1956 or so, he was traveling with his fiance, and he went to a coffee shop, and he sat down and he was drinking some coffee and thinking about a map of the Netherlands. And he was wondering, what is the fastest way, the shortest way rather, to get from the city of Rotterdam to another city in the Netherlands? And he sat there and he thought about this problem of getting from one location to the next and finding the shortest path between these two places. And he thought about it for about 20 minutes and came up with what he thought was a solution. And he later went back and implemented the idea that he came up with on the RMAC computer. He's quoted as saying, without pencil and paper, you're almost forced to avoid all avoidable complexities. Dijkstra designed this algorithm in 20 minutes and he went back and implemented his version of it, but it didn't even get published for almost three years until after the fact. So what is Dijkstra's algorithm exactly? What did he create? Well, Dijkstra's algorithm is an algorithm for finding the shortest path between two nodes in a graph specifically. And the way that it does this is by finding the distance between one node and every other node that is connected to it within the graph. So the idea with this algorithm is that once you look up the distance between one node and every other node within the graph, you can reference that distance again when you're looking up the shortest path between one node and the node you're trying to get to in the graph. And Dijkstra was trying to solve this problem and he did solve it with his algorithm, but he wanted to do it in a way that would make it accessible to people outside of computing. And that's where his analogy of using cities on the map of the Netherlands and finding a short path between them ended up being very, very useful. So I guess the moral of the story is, when it comes to hard problems in computer science, maybe we should all just go to Rotterdam more. Or a cheaper option is just to drink a little bit more coffee. Speaking of which. Mmm. Thanks, Edgar. Coming up next, a quick word from our sponsors, plus a preview of the next episode of Bite Sized. Hi there, I'm Ben, founder of Dev, and this is my colleague Ruby. Today's episode of Bite Size was sponsored by Heroku, which we use at Dev to power our site. It scales up, it scales down, it really gets out of the way when we need it to. I left an article below the video really going into the nuance of why we use it, why you might want to use it for your company or your personal project, and I hope you check that out. Thanks to Heroku for being a sponsor of this whole video series. It's been really, really helpful. And now a preview of the next episode of Bite Sized. What do you think, Ruby? Thoughts, Heroku? Ruby? I thought so. Back in 1970, a German computer scientist named Rudolf Bayer and an American computer scientist named Edward McWright were working together at Boeing Research Labs in Seattle. Is that correct?